Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters, and you may remember in the last video we had built up the uh, new Tamiya M10 uh, tank destroyer, and I said I was going to do a, a diorama on it, so I've decided to go ahead and start that right now. Uh, we're going to do a, like, a little type of fire base, where it's just going to be a small diorama, only probably about a foot by 10 inches, and we'll have like a little line of trees, and this one will be off into like the edge of the trees firing on something, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, as promised, we're going to go ahead and do a diorama now using the M10 from Tamiya. Uh, the first thing I'm there, I did actually start making some scenery on this a while ago and changed my mind on it so I just tore that out. But what I've gone ahead and done is painted the entire wooden base with a flat black. Gives it a nice uh, contrast to it. And also all the bases that I like to make usually have a, like a little lip in here and that's going to hold any type of scenery that we're doing as well. Uh, you can see here the type of scenery we're going to do on this is this is supposed to be like a fire base of a, an M10 sitting off on the edge of a tree forest firing on a town. So what we'll do is kind of line up where the track imprints are going to be, just, just roughly. And then what we'll do is we'll put some scenery in and then put some like trees around the edge. I've gone ahead and mixed up a kind of thin batch of hydrocal for the first one to go down because we want it to kind of flow as much as possible. I also have an old set of italery tracks that match the pattern because we're going to use those sa as sacrificial tracks to put the imprints in there so we don't mind if these get all messed up. So let's go ahead and pour this part in. We're probably going to have to have more than one batch but we're gonna fill this first part in and let that start to set up while we mix the other batch up and then we can do the track imprints. Now, I did make some little marks right here to line up where the M10 tracks would be. So, we're going to take those old set of italery tracks that we have. We're just going to push them into the, the hydrocal. Just so they start to make an imprint. And then, once they do that, and roll back up on you. And I've also went ahead and sprinkled some different size ballast on there. Some dip so when we actually do the other form, uh, you'll be able to see maybe a rock every once in a while on it. I let the uh, plaster dry overnight so it's nice and hard. And just before it was finished drying, I actually pushed some of these little boxes in because it'll be on the side of the vehicle here. We've gone ahead and masked off now because now we're going to be using our earth tone undercoat for to dye all the plaster right here so let's start doing that okay I went and added some water to the uh, to the undercoat as well so we can put on a nice thick wet coat and what that'll do is that'll soak into the plaster really well so that if you do have any little scratches or anything on it that they won't show white through so we're gonna let that dry for a few hours and then come back to it Okay, while that uh, dries, we're going to start doing some of the, uh, the weathering on the tank. We want it to kind of have a, a dirty effect, darker on the bottom and gradually getting lighter as we go up. So I'm using some MIG pigment, uh, the European dust to start with. And we're just going to start filling in the bottom area down here. Kind of heavy. Most of it's going to get taken off anyway later on. So we want to make sure it's just 
all into all the little nooks and crannies and all over all the different parts down here. start brushing a little bit of it up here Now, we're going to take a little bit of a darker color, and this is actually Vietnam Earth. It's a little bit darker red color. So, trying to keep mainly towards the bottom. Now that we've put the uh, the powders, the MIG powders, all over the entire vehicle, as you can see right, I know it looks a little bit messy, but the next step is going to blend a lot of that together. And what we're going to do is taking some of the Vallejo model wash. I actually used a little bit of the dark khaki green and a little bit of the European dust. And you get kind of this, this brownish color right here. And then just using your toothbrush, we want to start gradually just flicking. underneath here getting a spray pattern and try to do it from the the base up more natural to the way you'd get it Okay, and I went, what I did here is I actually went and put a little bit of the MIG pigment, the European Earth, right around the edge here, kind of blend a little bit of it. Now we're going to take some, just some white glue, mixing it with a little water. We're going to start blotting it on to start putting the grass.
And now taking our static graphs, Okay, before we do any more um, weathering and painting on it, I've drilled some holes and I've taken some of our random trees here. And this way when we go to paint, we'll paint up any of the plaster or anything that we've left behind. So using a little super glue, cut that top. I'm just gonna randomly start putting the trees in. And you don't have to worry too much. If you get any super glue on, we're usually going to put some little bushes and stuff all in through there too, so you won't really see any of that. Yeah, it's some dead ones here. Now we're gonna add a little clump foliage to, to make it not so stark of a ground on there. So you can start, there's a little bit of super glue left behind on that. And don't worry about that the color is all the same. We're gonna go back over and airbrush a lot of that later on, change some of the coloring up. And what I'm doing here now is I'm spraying different color greens back over the dark yellow we just did a little while ago, as well as the trees to kind of just blend some of the colors together.
after I did all the blending of the different sceneries, went and added back in the boxes, also went back in and added some of the brass shells, as if they just took them and chucked them out of the uh, the vehicle after they were done. We also went and added the uh, the tarps in the back and some more more things on the side here, some rolled up somethings, canvases, and also we put the extra unspent shells up around the top as if they're grabbing, because it's supposed to be like a fire position. Uh, kind of rotated a little bit here, if you can see some of the other pieces of it. Some of the dirt, the way the dirt... I actually thought the dirt was a little bit too much on the vehicle until I put it into the diorama and it seemed to just blend right into it, so I actually like the way it looks right now. And see some of the other sides here. So that is our diorama for the M10 firing position. I hope you enjoyed it and please stay tuned because we have more videos coming. Thanks.